Hey, hello everybody. I'm going to talk to you quickly about uh, my filter setup and, and uh, what it is that I do. Uh, it should just be a, a quick few minute video. Uh, I have done one before. Uh, this is sort of a revised. Um, not that much has changed with how I use it, but I'm, I'm shooting this with my Sony A55, which is new to me, and my last one I shot on a, on a little Sony Handycam. So I wanted to try out the, uh, the video capabilities of my, of my new camera. So, the basics of uh, my setup. So, I, I use Koken's P filter system. Um, so, that requires me to put a filter adapter, something like this, on, uh, on my lenses so that I can then uh, mount my filter system to it. So, pretty much every lens I have uh, has one of these. Um, so, you put this on every lens and it just screws into that front element. And uh, then you get yourself a P filter holder. Uh, looks like this, and it basically slides in just like that, sort of snaps in place, and uh, it goes on just like that. And this one actually allows you to put uh, three filters in, or a circular polarizer and two additional filters, and uh, yeah, so it, it sort of goes in that place. Then, of course, for me, the essential circular polarizer that uh, I always use, and it slides in the very first slot in here, and it too snaps into place. Uh, this does allow you to spin that circular polarizer inside this holder without actually spinning the holder. If the only thing I was using was a polarizer, I could still just spin the whole thing. Uh, mostly I'm using the other filters as well, so I spin the polarizer that way. So, that, so that's the one that is in there for sure all the time. From there then, depending on you know what it is I'm doing, I will have a solid ND filter. This is a three-stop filter. And this one I will usually put right into that second slot, right there. Um, so now, uh, with that three-stop ND and the polarizer, the polarizer stops about uh, two stops of light. So that's about a five-stop change just by using those filters. So that allows me to have much longer shutter speed, um, which gives me, uh, you know, you can get that nice silky water effect or you can have you know the grass will be blowing if there's wind and you get that sort of painted effect of of uh, the grass blowing or leaves on a tree or, or whichever uh, so that's sort of how that works uh, from there for me uh, it's generally going to be a grad filter so it's an ND filter uh, about halfway and the bottom is basically clear and what this allows me to do is uh, if it's on a bright sunny day this will actually darken the sky making a more even exposure throughout the whole image uh, so I don't get blown out of skies when I, when I take a picture or whichever. And then that for me usually slides right into this front slot. And you basically move it up and down until you get you know, the, the line where it goes from, from clear to, to dark and uh, you get that right where you need it on your horizon line and uh, then you, you're ready to go. So there are some other things that, uh, that this system will allow us to do. And uh, I'll get into those here in uh, just a second. So, um, I've taken my the uh, Grad ND filter out just to show you some of the other things that you can get for this system. One of the things I have is a filter adapter or a coupler with a with another P filter holder, and this will actually slide all the way down into there, the same as this one. And it will actually allow me to put three additional filters on. So I could have a total of five filters on at that point if I'm in a situation where I actually need to use that many. And to be honest, I haven't really used five at this point. Uh, but I, you know, for the, for the few extra bucks I picked it up just in case I get to that situation. Um, so that's, that's what I do with that. Um, Koken makes lens hoods that will also fit. So this will fit right on there just as so and it acts like a lens hood um, the same as the lens hoods that comes with your cameras so it does that um, yeah so that's some of the accessories that you can get now there are a couple of other tricks that I've learned over time um, and it's things that other photographers have taught me so I'll, I'll get into those as well so there are uh, there are a few other things that I've uh, that I've picked up over time or been taught or been told about uh, that I use and uh, and it generally works really well. Uh, the big one of those for me is sometimes when you have multiple filters in here, I'll put this you know, 
grad filter back in. So right now I've got a polarizer and two filters. One of the things I was uh, I was told early is that a lot of times the, the light will shine in between the two filters and, and uh, sort of go down in between the, the filters. And it leaves you with sort of a hazy look to your images and it's not that pretty. So uh, what do I do to avoid that? Well, I, Darwin Wiggett, uh, you know, a great Canadian landscape photographer, he, uh, he talked about having a black piece of velvet cloth and you basically drape that over and uh, that stops the light from coming in, you know, in between the uh, layers of glass. Uh, I will generally try and do it a little better than that when, uh, when I'm out shooting because I don't really want to take pictures of the velvet cloth. But, uh, I mean, that basically works and stops the, uh, the light from coming in around the, uh, the pieces of glass and, and uh, ruining that image for me. So that's, that's one of the tricks that, uh, that I was taught. Um, the other, rather than carry, a, you know, the, the filters come in their own little plastic case, so rather than carry a pile of those around, get yourself a, a CD case and the filters fit in it nicely. And uh, you can carry, you know, 24 of them in here if you like. And if you want to go crazy, you can get like four or five of these and fill it really full of different kinds of filters. Um, but for me, I've, I carry about seven or eight, and uh, I'll fit them in here. This goes in my camera bag, or, you know, it fits in a pocket uh, depending on what I'm wearing, and I can do it that way too. So that works really well. Uh, there's also these that uh, I use, and uh, these are basically lens caps that go onto the, uh, the filter adapters. Um, so I get one of these for each one, and it just slides on and uh, basically takes the place of the, uh, the original lens cap that I have. You can also get, get them that slide down into the filter holder. So if you have multiple filter holders and you don't want to take them off your lenses, you can get them that slide down. They, they work really well, too. So some of the advantages that this system gives over regular filters is the ability to change. This whole setup will slide right off and slide right onto this lens that also has the filter adapter on it. So what it does is it allows me to uh, have filters for every single lens I have, but only have to buy one. Uh, I have one circular polarizer, and I'll use it on every lens that I want, just because I have this on, and I put the filter holder on, and the uh, circular polarizer can change from lens to lens to lens, depending on uh, you know what it is that I want to do. Uh, so that's the basics of what I do. Uh, I mean, there's a lots of different kind of filters you can use and try, you know, blue gold and, and those sort of things. So the one thing I was saying there is uh, I find that my Koken filters aren't true neutral filters, uh, although they, they are neutral density. Um, what I find is, and, and the more I stack, the worse the effect gets. But what I, what I seem to find with the Kokens, uh, it, they leave sort of a magenta tint on my sky. As, as I stack more and more filters, that magenta tint becomes, you know, more and more visible. So, uh, Singray also makes filters that fit in the uh, Koken P holders, and they are much truer to neutral than, uh, than the Koken filters are. Of course, they're more dollars as well. But uh, my suggestion would be, if it's in your budget, uh, and that's something that, you, uh, that you're going to be concerned with, then certainly look at... Uh, you know, in addition to the uh, Koken P filters, certainly look at Singray's equivalent that that fit in the same P holder. So basically, you don't you don't have to buy any other new things other than the, the filters themselves, and uh, you know they fit in the same exactly as those. Um, so you know that's my basic filter setup. Um, hopefully that helps for anyone you had questions about what it is that I do. So uh, there it is. Thanks.